Hey my friends, hey creative crowd, how are you doing? Today we are gonna do a pencil look style in Affinity Photo. So we're going to go from this picture to this look and you can do this with any kind of picture. And of course, if you know my videos, I have a little bit of extra secret sauce in here to make this look really great. My name is Olivio, I'm a professional designer from Vienna, Austria and I want to thank all of my patrons who support me and make these videos possible. Thank you very much, it's super important, let's get started. So what do we need? We need a picture of course and then we need a paper texture. So let's delete these groups that we have created before so you can see the paper texture here. My weapon of choice to get these nice resources is Unsplash because we have the new stock function in Affinity Photo. So you can go over here to stock and there you have Unsplash and then you can uh, enter portrait. There we go and you can just pick and then drag over any kind of picture you want to have. If you don't see the stock function by the way, you have to go to view and then to studio and then to stock down here and make sure there's a hook next to it. Okay, so now that we have both of these layers in here, we need to do a little bit of setup. So the first thing you want to do I want to rename this by the way, let's call this normal and then I will duplicate my picture layer. So right click and then duplicate and I will call this um, invert. There we go. And I will then with the invert layer selected, go up to layer and then to invert. So the picture is inverted like this. Okay, now we are going to create some adjustment layers. So click down here and select the levels adjustment. And don't do any adjustments, we are just creating them for now. Then click again down here in adjustments and create um, a black and white adjustment. Close that and then go to the live filters and create a Gaussian blur. There we go. And the Gaussian Blur right now is in my black and white adjustments, not where it should be. I want to drag this onto my invert layer. There we go, so now it's in here. We almost have the setup. Now we're gonna select all of the stuff without the paper layer. So all of these layers. And on the keyboard, we hit Control G to create a group. And we will call this group Line Art. There we go. Okay, so now that we have done that, we are gonna do two things to the blend modes. First of all, we're gonna set the invert layer to the blend mode color dodge. So now your picture suddenly is empty. That's completely okay. And then we're gonna set our group that we call line art. We're gonna set that to um, linear burn. There we go. So now we can see the paper again suddenly. Cool. So what are we gonna do next? We are going to go into our Gaussian blur and we're gonna play around with our radius setting. And you can see, oh, the picture is coming back. So that looks pretty cool. And you can set it to any kind of look you want to have. Um, so let's leave it like this. This looks very faint at the moment, but that's not a problem. I will zoom in here and you can see we have some very nice details. And now comes a little bit of the secret sauce. The reason why I did not just set my picture to desaturate or to take out the saturation of the picture and instead choose to have my black and white adjustment is because when I double click on my black and white adjustment, I have all these levers here and they are responding to different colors. So this means now when I move them around, you can see I can bring in and out different details of my picture. And this gives me a lot of control over what I actually want to have inside of my line art. You can see, for example, the clothing, there was a lot of blue in there. So we can use this to bring out the blue details in here. So we can, as you can see, use this to very high effect to give us a really nice 
um, control over what we want to have in our pencil sketch. Now we also have the levels adjustment. You can see here it already looks pretty good, but if you would like to have tighter, bigger, thicker lines, you can use your level adjustment. So double click on that and you can bring in the black values and you can see the lines are getting pretty thick. And then you can also bring over your white adjustments over here because you can see uh, you have a lot of gritty stuff here in the background, a lot of texture. Maybe you don't want to have that, so you can bring this in here a little bit. It, of course, removes a little bit of the details, but also cleans up the background a little bit. And down here you have the gamma setting. You can also play around with that to see what kind of look you want to have. And the gamma setting makes it a little bit darker, so it makes the, th the lines a little bit thicker. Okay. So now that we've done that, there's another secret sauce to my creation of this kind of style. And this is usually if you do a pencil sketch, you don't only have lines. Let's uh, turn off the level adjustment. I think it's a little bit too extreme. Um, instead, what we want to have it to make this look a little bit better is to have a little bit of shadow and we can do that. So for shadow, we are going to click on our normal layer and we're going to duplicate that again. There we go, duplicate. And I want to pull this up to the top. So now we have our picture again and we are going to create again two adjustment layers. So let's click on adjustment and on levels again. And then we click on adjustments and on black and white again. That's pretty important. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to drag these onto our new layer. I will rename this layer, by the way, to shadow image. So we know what's going on. Shadow image. There we go. Okay, let's drag our two adjustments layers onto that. There we go. Right, so the next thing that we are going to do is we are going to, um, let me think a little bit, uh, you have to go in here to levels adjustments because what we want to have with this is only the darker values because of course we want to create shadows onto our picture. So let's play around with these settings, bring in the darker side, bring in the lighter side. You can see here, so we have high contrast and it probably starts to look like that. Uh, looks pretty good. You can play around with that. Good. So what we want to do is we want to um, set this to soft light. I have to look on my paper notes down here <laughs> a little bit. Uh, so there we go. So now that we've set it to soft light, if you want to have dark um, shadows like that, you could leave it like that, but you can also play around, of course, with the opacity to make um, the shadows less extreme. So that looks pretty good. You can also clean up the effect a little bit by going up here to the blend ranges and then you're going to set the source layer ranges. So click here to select an extra point, then drag down the point on the right side. And then I would suggest to create another point. So uh, this fall off here is a lot steeper and you can select with the eye in looking at your image uh, where you want this to start and stop. Uh, don't make it too harsh maybe because maybe the shadows are going to look a little bit too strange. And um, of course, again, we can go in here and play around with our black and white settings uh, to see. You can see here beautifully you can see here at the at the chin area, at the jaw area, I can bring in the shadow a little bit around the face to make it look more round, to make it look more natural. So we have these powers with the setting of the black and white uh, filter instead of just um, the desaturation. And well, uh, of course, you can also bring back the background a little bit. We don't want to have that. In this case, we can see um, this looks a lot more interesting because the shadow gives it a lot more 3D and a lot more life back to the picture so that it can look really interesting and really fun. Okay, so that was the tutorial on how to create a pencil look in Affinity Photo with a lot of nice details. Thank you very much for watching. If you have a suggestion for a tutorial that you want to see, let me know, write it in the comments. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video and have a nice day. Bye.